welcome back to our channel good morning good afternoon good evening your time thank you guys for your continued support please subscribe to our channel if you haven't turned on the bell for more video welcome our new members to the old ones god bless if you're passing by please join us if you're supporting us may the lord support you in everything you lay your hands amen to the news and details guys do us a favor if you haven't hit that red button that says subscribe the bell that says all you get to know when we upload new video permit me to read the news the way it is and this news reads Nigerian Air Force pays Fulani bandits 20 million to avoid shooting down Buhari's plane. The Nigerian Air Force coordinated ransom payment to armed bandits in exchange for an anti aircraft gun seized from the Nigerian army. The Wall Street Journal said in a desperate deal that was brokered at as President Mohamed Buhari was planning a trip to Castina, the U.S. outlet said 20 million was delivered to the bandits in Ruga Forest by a Nigerian Air Force official who leaked details of the operation under anonymity because the military realized that it would be too risky to leave the weapon in the hands of violent criminals operating in an area the presidential jet would fly over. The, the ripped lawless jungle that covers part of Kaduna, Zamfara and the president's home state of Castina has served as a vast heaven for bandits terrorizing Nigerians not Western communities. A large portion of kidnapping plots emanates or terminates in or around the forest. Security agencies have previously warned the mission to buy back the aircraft, the anti-aircraft gone, began with a handful from a high-ranking Air Force intelligence officer in the capital of Abuja, a black zip up back he said was full of 20 million nigerian naira the paper reported after stating that such military hardware in the hands of lani bandits posed a threat to president mohammed buhari who had been planning to fly to his hometown about 80 miles away the gun truck which the gun truck pardon me with 12.7 Clever anti-aircraft fire was reportedly disassembled and transported back to the military on motorbike after the deal was concluded. Hmm. Although the Nigerian government claimed combat victories against armed bandits, several military bases have been sacked by the violent criminals dreaded largely for their adoption of school children and prominent personalities, including politicians and emirs. Last month, a forward operating base crucial to the military campaign against Pandathri was raided in Zamfara, leaving at least 12 officers killed. The bandits also seized military equipment when they conquered the base. Hmm about eight kilometers south of the capital in the in september 11 operation guys did you hear that unbelievable they now pay bandits in order to collect their weapon <laughs> let us quickly take some reactions from some nigerians the government will return the guns back to the bandits after the return of mr president that one is sure hashtag 20 million is for flexing Still, the guns are returning back, thinking out loud. Somebody says, what is the total number of the Nigerian police before boosting to send 34.580 to Anambara? Why not send them, from, send them first to Castina to help the president? Government of fraudulent politicians, somebody says. The best propaganda are from the are from <laughs> the government. No one takes that from them. Hmm. International bodies and Southeast governor can never speak on this since the bad news is not from MNK stroke 
IPOB, somebody says. But why pay the bandits the sum of 20 million? Why the federal government is sending 34,587 police and the army personnel just for an Ambra election? That tells you all you need to know when I say that the only resources that the Fulani not bring to the table in Abuja is terrorism. Some fools will begin to argue, somebody says. Even zoo have more respect than Nigeria. Could you imagine the government is directly and indirectly promoting crime in the shithole called Nigeria, somebody says. So the fighter jet they brought, they can't use it to bomb the forest, eh? Federal government is behind all this simple. But it will not be risky to leave the weapon in the hands of criminals when civilians' airplanes will be flying around all over the area. Eh? Just imagine Nigeria is disgraceful nonsense. Guys, we have a lot of comments pouring in and people are expressing their anger. You see that? So 20 million, if you don't understand it, 20 million naira was sent in order to take back the weapon. You know, when the uh, uh, the bandits shot down <laughs> one of the aircraft. So they have the weapon then. They have to pay 20 million to take it back because the president is flying to his uh, state. They don't want them to shoot down the president aircraft. Kai, why civilians that uh, fly, you see, they are... Oh, have you seen it? That your life does not matter. It is the only the life of the president that matters. Kai! And they sent a lot of more than thousands of police people, almost close to 40,000. Imagine of security personnel to go over to Anambra State because of Anambra State election. Aye. And just like some people uh, rightfully said, if it was now IPOB or Mazen and the Kano case, hey, red light everywhere. But this one, have you seen that even the government are directly and indirectly sponsors pandit? These are not my words. These are the words of some people in the comment section. That is just the truth. I'm going to leave it at this. I want to know your opinion. Please continue the conversation below. Don't forget to like, share, hit that red button that says subscribe, turn on the bell so you do not miss our new upload. I love you guys. I'll see you on my next video. Bye guys. Bye.